Ryan, GMapper14 here. Apologies in advance for sniffling and lawnmower sounds. Sniffling is from me, the lawnmower sounds are not. Those are from my father, who's mowing the lawn. Probably something I should be doing, but I'm sick, and so that's my excuse for the moment. <laughs> okay, that was awkward, sorry. Here is the product you came for, the Samsung Chromebook. A beautiful, beautiful, I think I was listening to it, beautiful piece of machinery. My Asus, or Acer, excuse me, C7 Chromebook review is up on my channel. Please watch that. I'll be doing a smack down of the two. Please watch that. And I'll also do, be doing a video of my grandma giving her opinion because she owns the C7. So make sure to look forward to that. Right off the bat, this is extremely well built. It is plastic. You can tell that. The C7 is a little harder to tell, but you can tell that with this. It is light, it's a little heavy, it's lighter than the C7. I will try not to compare it too much to that because I will be doing that in a video. But it is amazing. Uh, right now it's a little harder to hold because I'm on the table. But when I'm walking around the house, this thing is so light. It's like amazing. You would, When you go to like a Pure One Imports, they have those fake computers. I mean, sorry, um, the container store, they have those fake computers. And you don't think they do anything and they don't do anything, they're fake. This is what it reminds me of. But it is real and it's extremely high quality and I'm gonna get into this review so silver first off uh, this feels cheaper up here than the C7 did I'm not gonna compare it as much as I can but uh, on the side okay first off people have complained about this big bump right here it's like a they called it a uh, speed bump <laughs> yeah I don't know why it's on there they could have easily put it down a little bit but this is a really thin laptop really light I'm not gonna complain about that $250 by the way uh, on this side, nothing. On this side, you have the GSM slot for uh, 3G, if you'd like to add that on. Uh, you have USB 3.0 port. You have a 2.0 port, which is using the mouse, which I'll explain. A HDMI port, the power cord, which is extremely small. And then on this side, you have the headphone slash mic input, and you have an SD card slot. Then on the front, you have nothing at all. Uh, very lacking in ports, I would say. Although, I doubt you're going to be really using that many USB products with this. Uh, yeah. Alrighty. Uh, let's look at what's on this thing. The screen goes back yay much. Uh, and I don't want to mend it anymore because it won't go anymore. You have a multi-gesture trackpad. Uh, multi-fingers for different gestures. Uh, really high quality trackpad. My parent, my mom, and my grandma do not like the trackpad. Uh, by the way, first off the bat, you will notice uh, this looks kind of like a Mac, which it does, and that's not a bad thing because this looks beautiful. And I think they do it better than Mac, in my own opinion. I'm not a Mac person, but obviously I'm holding a Chromebook. But uh, I really, really like how this is made. It looks beautiful. Doesn't this look minimalistic and simple and elegant? And it makes you just one even more. Uh, alrighty. This does not have function keys. It has a back and forward for when you're in the, in the internet. It has a refresh button. It has a larger screen button. It has a multiple window button. So if you have more than one window open, you can switch between them with this bad boy. Uh, brightness down, brightness up, volume mute, volume down, and volume up. And then the power key with a little LED showing you that it is on. Whoops, I clicked backspace. Uh, then regular keys and then a giganto search button which is replaces uh, a different key, and there's no Windows key, a la this is not the Windows computer. Um, if you click the search button, it pops up this little new Chrome OS-like app drawer. Alrighty, then you have a webcam up here for easy hangouts with your family or friends or random people, which I don't know why you do that, but hey, it's out there. Uh, my mother and grandma, who these are for, do not like the trackpad, even though my mom has a Mac, she is used to a mouse for some reason. Uh, but this is the Logitech Multi Gesture Mouse, twenty-four dollars. You can't beat that, and it is extremely high quality. I made you review of this; it's so good. And it plugs in via USB wireless, of course. So you put the wireless dongle in here, and this has Bluetooth, by the way, which is not like the C7, which does not have that. But this is an amazing mouse, and. Uh, you can see the mouse moving on the screen right now and this button is for the Windows start screen but if you press it on here 
it is already synced up to work with the app drawer for Chrome OS. Press it again to make it go away. And if it, that is open, this has multi finger support. So if you move your fingers this way and this way, it goes between. So if you're on the internet, scrolling up and down on the internet, it will work with this too. So it's just like the trackpad. But if you want a mouse, this is the way to go. Uh, Chromebook, a beautiful piece of technology. Uh, I bought this for my mom and for Mother Jay, and my grandma got one. But seriously, I'm considering getting one of these for myself. I love it that much. The Chromebook is a genius piece of machinery. Uh, I don't know how to explain it because it's not a computer. I mean, it's not like it's it's. I don't know how to explain what it is. It is a window to the internet. It can do other things offline, but not as much as you would like it to. But it is amazing for what it is. A communication tool, simple. Uh, this is for my mom. She, recent, she has an iPhone and a Mac, but she recently switched from iCloud because her Yahoo Mail was hacked, and she was using that with her um, iOS calendar. So when she got the new one, she went to Gmail now, which is a great move. And she switched over to, there's my dog right there. She switched over to Gmail, and so she went to G, uh, Google Calendar too. And so when she went to Google Calendar, she switched over, and that made things a lot nicer for her, and everyone else loves it. But uh, I'll show you real fast. This is my mom's Google Calendar. It's an easy, easy way to get it on here. Hi, dog. I'm scared. Um, amazing, amazing, clear and crisp on here. Great way to view everything. It's got Google Keep, which they just opened up, you know, as the official Chrome application. Just Chrome OS in general is beautiful. I will not review that because that is something else. I may do another video. But the uh, thing to look about when you're going to buy one of these is the lack of applications. It does not have uh, Yahoo Mail, for example. I had to find a separate shortcut to place that down here at the bottom. But uh, it does not have Yahoo Mail. It does not have... Um, a lot of things actually which you would think about and the offline apps are lacking so first off I will say I want one of these for myself get one today they are amazing $250 well worth it uh, this is an SSD hard drive in here it is 16 gigs which is really sad actually and it does not make sound it heats up very little it is just lightweight perfect and I love it a lot I definitely recommend this, and uh, I just out of things to say. This thing's so awesome; it boots up in seconds. Uh, it's an amazing tool. If it's just easy, and I love using it. I can't think of anything really negative except for the lacking of apps, uh, offline use, and um, I tried putting a video on here that was larger than four gigs. It was like a thirty-minute video of my graduation, and it was all jerky, and it had like missing pieces in the video. So smaller videos work, but that did not. And that was a regular file plugged in via USB. So that is a problem to look out for. Large files. Uh, this is not good for offline use. I mean, you can do certain things. You can watch videos and listen to music that's already on there. But this does not have a really good media player. I mean, what are you going to do? Why would you listen to music on here except in the cloud? That's what this thing is for the cloud. 16 gigs. That's obvious. That's why they give you 16 gigs. If you're ready to live in the cloud and you want to buy 3G or you're just going to stay in the house with this computer... I definitely recommend this, but if you're going to be using it for watching media and such on the road, uh, I definitely do not recommend this. For getting work done, you can edit some documents offline, but it is nothing compared to a Microsoft Office. So in the end, I give an amazing score for what it is. This is a beautiful piece of machinery, high quality, amazing quality. It's just so well built. and. I'm not easy. I don't buy things, or my family. I do not talk my family into buying things that I do not believe in. I definitely believe in the Chromebook. Uh, it's an amazing, amazing tool, and if you can use it correctly, it is just a great addition to your tech life. I have a tablet and a computer. We have a Mac. We have a TV. We have a PS3. All those things, and I did not think we need one more electronic. And we have iPads and such. And guess what? This thing fit right in. It's amazing. My mom will probably not use it as much as I'm using it, but it is great. So if you're looking for something for your family, your grandparents, and such, go for this. Watch my C7 review. I went into a lot more information about what this can be used for as a Chromebook in general uh, because I've already said it. I'm not going to repeat myself. But uh, go ahead and look at that video. Amazing. 
<clears throat> may do a review, review of Chrome in general, Chrome OS. Uh, but make for, make sure to look forward to my next video coming up. It's going to be a comparison between this and the C7. Uh, also, make sure to look forward to a review of the C7 by my grandma. Not really a review, but an interview with her asking her questions like, well, why do you like this? Would you recommend it? And such. So someone who's like in their 70s, uh, if you're getting one for your parents or your grandma, this is going to be a great video to see how uh, those people can interact with this. And she loves it. I just talked to her for like an hour about it, and I wake up in the morning at 12 o'clock, which is really the afternoon, and she's on the table on the computer listening to music and playing games on this thing, on the C7. But that's amazing. It's easy to use, pick up, uh, all the way, buy this. It's definitely worth the $250. I'm thinking about getting one of myself. You might want to just look at it. It's beautiful and uh, definitely worth the 250 I would not go 300 for one of these unless there was some more apps, by the way. So definitely recommend this. If you need to save a little money, go ahead and grab the C7. It's $50 less. And if you can find an open box one, it is 60 or $70 less. So, but definitely SSD hard drive, uh, light, really thin, uh, really thin computer. And easily with one hand, I can hold it. So definitely get this device. I love it a lot. So like, subscribe, comment. I apologize for my rant and sickly demeanor. It's because I am sick. <laughs> so I wanted to get this review done so I could, uh, I just like getting information out to you and I love talking about products I like. So make sure to check this review out, which you already have, and check all my other reviews on my channel. Please subscribe and please tell me what I can do better because I love you people, uh, unless you're some creepy stalker. So <laughs> thank you guys for enjoying my video.